The boxer is a military jack of all trades and master of them all. This armored transport vehicle is an example of how countries can work together to produce a vehicle that is highly useful to all armies that use it. The Boxer is an armored fighting vehicle used for a variety of tasks, but its main purpose is for transportation of personnel. It does this as securely as any other vehicle on the planet due to its excellent protection from enemy fire courtesy of its impressive armor. Let's take a close look at why this Boxer is always ready for a fight. The Boxer Armored Vehicle was originally a collaboration between Germany, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. In 2003, the UK withdrew from the program but would see a return in 2018 to place their own orders once the vehicle was in operation. It's produced by the Armored Vehicle Technology Industrial Group, and the program is being managed by the Organization for Joint Armament Cooperation. The Boxer personnel carrier replaced, in Germany, the aging TPZ-1 Fuchs and M113 armored personnel carriers in the German Army. And in the Netherlands, the YPR and M577 armored vehicles were usurped by this new APC. Germany initially ordered 272 units with different module variations, and the Netherlands went with 200. Now Australia and Lithuania also used the Boxer as their primary armored personnel carrier. The Boxer is an 8x8 fighting vehicle, which is highly adaptable to suit a number of environments. Its main variations are a command post, logistics, armored personnel carrier, ambulance, battle damage repair, and 120mm mortar. Modules can be changed in less than an hour, and the different kits total 15. The Boxer has been designed so that it can be customized depending on what activity is needed. It has unique modularity and is flexible enough to fulfill a wide spectrum of diverse mission requirements without compromising on survivability, reliability, and ability to future-proof the vehicle. The Armored Personnel Carrier, or APC variant of the Boxer, is a true mothership for soldiers, with many functions needed for the infantry and interfaces for network-enabled warfare. The potential for the vehicle to grow alongside requirements for modern warfare allows adaptation to future emerging military roles or changing needs without reducing performance. The Boxer is not only versatile, but it's very strong as well. It's constructed out of an all-welded steel armor. On top of this is also a layer of composite armor that includes a world-leading amount of ballistic, mine, and IED protection. The hull of the Boxer is made of hard steel and modular armor. The modular design of a multi-layer floor concept and safety cell provides a unique design which minimizes the risk of death from attacks. The main requirement for the Boxer to remain solid under attack provides a multi-hit capability as well as a capability to stay mobile under attack. In order to avoid any kind of attack in the first place, the vehicle benefits from a new generation of stealth design, low acoustic, infrared, and radar signatures. To further improve protection, the Boxer can also be fitted with passive armor, reactive armor, and active protection systems. There's also mine protection and running gear present on the armored fighting vehicle to ensure mobility even after a mine strike. Reduction of thermal, acoustic, and radar signature is also core to the design. For example, actively cooled plates around the engine compartment, exhaust vent placement, and triple layer floor. Hydraulic liquids and fuel are placed outside of the main mission modules, and a full chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear protection system is fitted as standard. On unveiling, the Boxer was significantly larger than its peers, but recent vehicles have been adjusted to make transportation, especially by air, easier. The reason for its size and high weight was due to the several layers of protection and a need to ensure enough space to accommodate equipment inside the vehicle rather than hanging things on the outside. The Boxer APC uses a number of proven automotive components that are commercially available. It is powered by an MTU V8 199TE20 diesel engine, which gives it a very useful 711 horsepower. This engine has its roots in the Mercedes-Benz OM500 commercial design, but has been modified by German company MTU Solutions for use in the military. Adjustments include more power than the commercial version, and it can also operate in more extreme conditions. 
Newer versions of the Boxer are fitted with a slightly more powerful MTU 8V199 TE21 diesel, which gives it a little more horsepower at 721. There are also versions of the vehicle that have an even more powerful engine, getting up to 804 horsepower. The Boxer is also fitted with a central tire inflation system. This helps to improve mobility over difficult terrain. Despite weighing 38 and a half tons, the vehicle has outstanding mobility. It can travel off-road at speeds up to 80 kilometers per hour, a speed that most armored personnel carriers would struggle to make on road. When the Boxer gets on the road, it can travel just over 100 kilometers per hour. Its range is also over 1,000 kilometers. The Boxer in its APC variant has a weapon station armed with a 12.7mm machine gun or an automatic 40mm grenade launcher. The weapon station is as versatile as the rest of the Boxer and can be reconfigured to suit whatever enemy it comes across. It can also have remote weapon stations fitted with a smoke grenade launcher and anti-tank guided missile. Multiple fire control systems can be used, which allows stationary and moving targets to be engaged. These include laser rangefinders, thermal imagers, CCTV cameras, and ECM jammers. The fully automated artillery gun module can hold a remote-controlled howitzer 155, capable of firing up to 8 rounds per minute to a range of up to 40 kilometers with standard ammunition. The Rheinmetall Lance 30mm two-man turret features 360-degree electric rotation with a negative 15 to positive 45-degree weapon elevation. Boxer in its APC variant has a crew of three and can carry eight troops fully equipped and ready to go into battle. Troops use the rear entry ramp to enter and exit battle situations. Alternatively, up to eight tons of cargo can be carried instead of soldiers. In terms of accessories, the rapid strategic mobility of Boxer in a combat-ready configuration is ensured by being able to be deployed by road, train, sea, or air. All the boxers include air conditioning and a fire extinguishing system for the engine compartment. The boxer has been specifically hardened to survive a tactical nuclear explosion at medium distances. If needed, the vehicle can also be equipped with a navigation system, smoke grenade launcher, rear view camera, and crew seats with airbags. Variations of the Boxer include the multi-purpose variant, as used by the Australian Army, which is fitted with a remotely controlled weapon station. Some other adjustments were also made to meet specific Australian requirements. The Vilkas, or Wolf in Lithuanian, represents their version of the Boxer. It is fitted with a remotely controlled turret armed with a 30mm automatic cannon and Spike LR anti-tank guided missiles. Due to its powerful armor, these machines can be seen as wheeled infantry fighting vehicles in their own right. Due to the easily customizable qualities of the Boxer, they have been popular worldwide with armies tweaking them for use with their specific missions. The Boxer is a fantastic example of how collaboration doesn't have to mean compromise and in fact can produce a more bespoke solution than respective armies would have seen otherwise. The Boxer is a very strong, versatile and powerful weapon for any military that might want to purchase it. The armored fighting vehicle is now in operation across the world carrying troops to wherever they need to go, regardless of how rough the terrain might be. What do you think about the Boxer Tank? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.